everyone, it's Teresa and today is going to be a little bit different of a video. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube sharing a lot of their favorite crafting tools and, and things like that and I thought that sounded like a lot of fun. And uh, last night I was on um, Indie Annie's channel with her um, and Cindy from The Crafting Lady, or excuse me, that that crafting lady. And uh, after we were finished with the craft battle, I kind of gave them a little tour of my crafting room and that was a lot of fun. So I wanted to do the same with you. So we're gonna do that. And once we're done with that, I'm gonna walk you through just a couple of quick uh, hacks for organizing your crafts. Um, and since I'm gonna share a few bunch of things that you can still get on Amazon, we're going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away uh, $20 to Amazon. That way I can just send it over to you electronically. You can get it and still do Christmas shopping if that's what you want to use it for or buy something for yourself. And as you'll see here in a minute, I probably do way too much of that. So um, hold on and we'll get walking around the room. Right, so this is where I do majority of my crafting. Um, obviously my computer that I just got. I love it, love it, love it. Um, those are a couple things for our DIYs here in just a minute. Uh, that is the tripod that I use and I've got a glue gun there, of course, things like that. Um, this table is a lot cleaner than it usually is, but you know, that's how it kind of works. Um, down below here, I actually do keep a little uh, Rubbermaid kind of thing just to hold all my stuff. Um, here, this is actually a cutting board. Like a, it comes in a two pack from Dollar Tree. So two for a dollar, pretty good deal. I use that to paint on or glue or things like that. Uh, we're not going to talk about that thing because that's a mess. Um, these are some of my favorite. This um, hanging file organizer, I think is what it is. Uh, I actually had my husband put them in uh, on the walls uh, in the studs. So they hold a lot of weight that will be linked below. It is from Amazon, pretty inexpensive for what it does, what it, you know, how much it holds. I've got a heat gun there. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's just my heat gun or if it's not a reliable brand or whatever, but it overheats pretty easy. So that will not be linked because I don't really recommend it, um, <laughs> but it does the job. So I'm not gonna get a, a new one. I've got a bunch of my uh, chalk paints up there, which is nice and handy. Eventually, once this is gone, I'm gonna change it up a little bit once I'm done with the bags for Christmas. So, and then over here, you can see I have my Cricut. Uh, my Cricut Maker, and this little shelf thing is really handy. It fits it perfectly. I'm going to link that below. I just bought that uh, just because I really needed something specific for the size of that space. So there's another one of those hanging um, file holders. They come in a pack of three, so it's a really good deal actually for how much it costs. I can't recall, but it will be linked below. Uh, I just use it to keep my window clings, Cricut mats, um, some of the Dollar Tree uh, boxes for Christmas that I never got around to DIYing with. Obviously my wall needs to be painted and filled, but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, and then some of those flat canvases from Dollar Tree. Once we kind of walk over here, um, I, I don't want to blind you, but there I've got a, oh, sorry, wrong direction. <laughs> I've got a light there. It's an umbrella light. I'll link that too. If anybody here does videos, uh, it's, they're nice. They're, it actually comes in three, uh, three, uh, two large ones and a tabletop. I've got a bunch of Dollar Tree long signs to DIY with. Uh, this is actually, <laughs> I put this up. Um, I'll show you in just a second how I put this, but I use this for photos. I'll do that real quick. What I do is, uh, this is a folding desk. I put this up against the back part of it and do my photos. And it is just a piece of cardboard with some contact paper. Uh, Dollar Tree sells contact paper. It's not exactly that one. I got that one off of Amazon. And then I have my pegboard. It is loaded with stuff. We're not gonna go into every single thing, um, but it's, it's pretty handy. Those baskets there, 
uh, those two right there with the little, um, well, ribbon holder slash paper towel holder came from Joanne Fabrics. I love them. They're really nice quality. So I really recommend those. Um, this is just like a gooseneck lamp. Uh, I got that for my birthday actually recently. Uh, those we're going to show a little bit in a minute how to make those. Obviously we have my kid's elf. Uh, that is Evan. He's apparently mad at me for something. It's what I was told earlier, at least. Um, I've got a lot of bins up there for storage. And I think I might have a hoarding problem. It's it's getting to that point, guys. Um, those are just shelves from Ikea. They fit acrylic paint really nicely, FYI. They're pretty inexpensive. I just painted them and threw them up on that wall. Um, those are mermaid scales. Someday I'm gonna finish that, that project. I'm planning on doing for my daughter's room. Just haven't done it yet. Um, this little handy guy, I haven't tried him yet. This is actually supposed to be for cutting paper off of rolls of paper. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I have to get into wrapping. Uh, just guest bed from Ikea, nothing spectacular. Um, and I think we're back to where we started. It's, uh, it's a, lot of, a lot of stuff in this room and I've really lo been loving a lot of what I've got. Oh, and I don't think I told you, this desk is actually from Amazon as well. That'll be linked. The folding desk will be linked. Uh, anything I've gotten, at least recently, that I can attest to loving, I will link for you below. All right, so for the DIYs, the little hacks that I have, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these before. These are just the dish racks uh, from Dollar Tree. We're going to, um, at a minimum, you need two, uh, depending on your space. What these are is actually are going to be holding some rolls of vinyl if you have like a Cricut or I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure there are other uses for it. That That is what I use it for in particular. So what you're going to need are three zip ties and two of these holders. Now, I don't know if you, uh, if you are anybody out there have a, a Cricut and you've been looking for things to hold your vinyl. They're actually pretty expensive, like the little... Um, things that you can use that are actually specifically for vinyl, for holding vinyl, they're actually way expensive for what they are. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to zip tie them together. Uh, you can do it right here, kind of in the seam. You can do that one spot. I like to leave it loose, at least for the very beginning, so that you don't, uh, you push it down too far, then you'll end up not being able to like zip it down where you want it. And then we're going to do one in the other corner. It's nothing too precise, guys. It's like super easy to do this little hack. And then I like to do one in the middle. Um, I would imagine you could do three high on this. I haven't done that because the space I have it in would not allow for three high. Um, but one thing that's nice though, if you end up with rolls that like to come off a lot, just add one of these zip ties to each one of these little holder spots and it won't roll off. They'll stay pretty nice. So once you get them started on getting them all locked down, just secure them down a little bit further. You'll cut off the ties and you will be done. And I'll show you a picture here, um, what it looks like over on the other cabinet. And on these, we're gonna do something kind of similar. Well, they're gonna be similar in how we put them together. This is actually going to be in case like if you are um, if you're a renter, this is a really good hack, or if you don't want to commit to um, a pegboard, or if you have a desk space, even even if it's not for crafting, if you have a desk space that you need to kind of come up with some kind of organizational solution for. So these are cooling racks from Dollar Tree, a buck a piece. What we're going to do is you can, depending on your space, you can either zip tie them together lengthwise, or you can zip tie them together widthwise. The space that I'm going to put these in is going to be for more of like a widthwise. So I am going to just zip tie these corners together. I'm going to go ahead and pull that down tight now. And I'm going to zip tie these corners, this corner together, basically where it meets. Uh, you can add one to the middle if you think you need it. I'm going to try it for right now, at least without that. Just make sure that when you're zip tying it, you're not accidentally going over like too far on that side because you're gonna end up not um, able to do anything. And put it in the right way, because that helps too. There we go. Just gonna zip those down. And give me one moment and I will show you what we do next. 
Now it does kind of want to fold on me a little. So what I am going to do is I'm going to add one more zip tie here in the middle. I'm going to do it kind of like, oh, that one's not a zip tie, that one's cut. Uh, I'm going to fold it, just put it down here in the middle. That way it gives it um, kind of like this diagonal. It's going to give it a little bit more support and keep it from moving around a lot on you. And you just trim off those tails. You can tuck it back. I mean, this I'll be all you know. Honestly, it's not going to be that glorious looking, but it's going to be really functional. And you could even spray paint these if you wanted it to. Uh, you could do like rose gold or gold. It'd be really pretty. Give me one minute, and I will show you what to do next. All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fix this to the wall. We're going to use some command hooks. I personally prefer the command hook brand to the Dollar Tree one. But what we're going to do is we're going to use these ones, and we're just going to fix it right there. The way I like to do this is I will do one hook um, eyeballing it, and then the other one's going to be a little more specific, like not specific. The next one's going to be a little bit more thought out. So as you can see, I went ahead and put down one of my hooks, and now the other one, I'm going to just have it ready to go with the backing on it already. And I'm going to pick up my wire rack, and I'm sorry if this is a weird angle. And I'm going to hold it in there and I'm just kind of eyeballing it from there and then I'll push it down and I'm going to take it off though while I apply the pressure to not give it too much weight because otherwise you put too much weight on it initially it's not going to stay up. It might not be the most level or the most scientific way but there you have it. It's going to work just perfectly. You can add shower hooks to this. You can do paper clips, you could do pictures on this, all kinds of things. All right, so what I did is I basically, just to give you an idea, this is just a regular shower curtain holder um, that you would put on the rod and put the shower curtain in it. Um, but what I did is I put that on here and it's just holding just a Dollar Tree bucket with some glue sticks in it. So just keep in mind that whatever size command hooks you're using, you wanna get something that's made for a little bit heavier weight so you can add more to one of these um, hooks and there's just lots of different options you got here like i said if you want to go we'll keep these kind of things keep these guys more on the lighter side you can do pictures papers things like that so i hope you enjoyed this quick video on kind of some different things to look around for and find for the holidays uh if you're looking to you know give someone some crafting things or if you yourself want some crafting things and these couple of quick little hacks too. And I, again, we are doing a giveaway on this video. So to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment and make sure you are a subscriber as well. Leave a comment below. It can be pretty much anything. I'm going to count it. And we're going to leave this open for one week. So you'll still have a little bit of time to do some last minute shopping, especially if you are able to, uh, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you'll be still be able to get some stuff in time for the holidays or buy yourself something for the holidays. So thank you again. This is kind of just in uh, enjoying my wonderful uh, YouTube family. And I'm just so thankful for everybody. Uh, I've, I hit 200 subscribers, so I was like, I'm going to do a giveaway. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and being part of my YouTube family. I've really, really been enjoying this crafting DIY community, and I hope you are too, and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you next time.